All right, man, what's your name and what do you drive? My name is Benny Sullivan and I drive a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. Obviously it's not stock. Can you tell me a little bit about what you got done to the car and a little bit about the history of this car? We, we call this one a, a TV dinner. Most of the stuff that I had done is all done lower 48. Fuel injected 5.7 V8. The frame's not reinforced, chromed. Toyota rear end, that's chrome. So the upper, the lower A arms and the front are all chrome. It's got the root beer candy painted and pinstriped, muraled. It's got the 13 inch gold Zenith. Um, the interior has been redone. Everything on this car has been touched other than the motor. It's just like an everyday cruise, you know what I'm saying? I had a 63 where I'd spend, you know, hours and hours cleaning it after I drove it for about an hour. So this is a good grocery getter. You know. <laughs> Tell me about some of your favorite cars that you've owned in the past. One of my favorite ones, I had a fuel-injected uh, 1961 Chevy Impala. Okay. I call it the bubble top. Yeah. And that was probably my favorite one that I, that I let go that I'm still kicking ass to this day. I should have never sold that car. But, but I've had a, a bunch of cars up here. Yeah. A couple 63s, 64. Um, I've always been an Impala guy. And this is uh, my first Cadillac. This is probably the best car that I've had with hydraulics. The trunk alone has a lot of work on that. Can you go into detail about kind of the intricacies of the detailing? And then it looks like you got a little bit of upgraded down in there as well. Right now I got a thousand watt amp, two tens, iron air deck, running six batteries for the hydros, simple two pump whammy tank, been engraved, I had perfectionist redo the, the whole setup because I wasn't happy with it when I, when I got it done up here. There's a lot of decals on the car representing the Uso Car Club. Can you go a little bit into detail about what that car club means to you and what is Uso Car Club? And tell me more about the community. Uh, Uso Car Club started in uh, Carson back in 92 uh, by the name of uh, Kita and some other founders. I've been with the Uso Car Club since 2001, 2002. I helped start the chapter in Sacramento and then once I moved from Sacramento, about 2008, 2009, started the chapter here in Alaska. And then I ran the chapter till about 2019. Uh, Loco is running the chapter now. Everybody's supportive, you know what I'm saying? We're just like a family up here. We're trying to, you know, just spread the word too with these young kids, you know, we're trying to get them involved. Just let let the kids know, hey man, that's on TV, but up here in Alaska too, you know? So one other person I like to mention is, is my boy Brandon. You know, Brandon had a, a big part of the lowrider community here. What I like about uh, Uso, there's no color lines, you know what I'm saying? It's a for family. So it's like, oh, it's only Samoan. No, we got Mexicans, we got black, we got white, we got Asian, we got everybody, you know what I mean? And when other clubs say they're worldwide, we are worldwide. You know, we're in Alaska. They ain't no other chapter, you know, low riding in Alaska, you know what I mean? Just like anybody who drives a car or a hot rod, we only get three to four months of really riding. And then if that, if it doesn't rain or anything like that, you know, I like to think us being so far up here, um, we are some riders. What got you into cars in the first place? My dad. It's a cruiser on the strip, and I grew up around the muscle scene. My dad had a Maverick, 78 Maverick, the 302, and he had a blower in it. I heard that blower coming down the street. I had to get my ass home, so <laughs> <laughs> I was that kid with all the Hot Wheels and shit like that. So We have a lot of younger folks that follow all of our social media and all of our pages. If you had any words of advice to them, what would you have to say? I'd say just stick with it. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to be like, ah, man, I got to have the baddest car on the block, man, just as long as you have something. And then, you know, just keep working towards it. It's a process. It's not just, you know, overnight. You got to know your budget. You got to know that you, you, the time that you can actually spend in it. I've got five kids, as you can hear them yelling in the background. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be realistic with yourself. Steps, man, just and you'll get there. You know what I mean? Sticking with it and being consistent is, is all what I would say to these young kids. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? It will happen. Just you know speaking into existence and it will happen i've known you for years now it's an absolute honor to talk with you we wish you guys the best of luck we can't wait to see you guys on next season all right Thanks, all right man